Ma niente, guarda. Diventata. È un'arte questa. E qui? Va bene così. Sì, sì. Vediamo. Qua. E questo? E questo qua? Bravo! Ma a me già l'occhio ce l'ha buono, eh! Allora, si fa così e poi. Da un lato si chiude come se fosse un fagottino. Ecco, sì, un fagottino. Sono ravioli, ravioli, ravioli. Vediamo qua se ci sono. Ma ci meglio. Fatto. Ci vuole questa rosellina. Eh. Come si chiama quella lì? Si chiama la rosellina. Rose. Va bene? Se vuole un po' da l'arte. Ecco un altro. Ecco. Così. Ecco. Non ne assaggio uno, no? No. Non si fida che l'ho fatto io. No, no, no. Ma se vuole ti mangio. Facciamo un chianti che. Chianti, chianti buono. Mm, buono. Mm. Preso, vero? più ti lega a questi luoghi e anche questi fiori azzurri via via neanche questo tempo grigio pieno di musica e di uomini che ti son piaciuti it's wonderful it's wonderful it's wonderful good luck my baby it's wonderful it's wonderful it's wonderful I'd remove you chips chips Dati do di dolci bocci bobo Dati do di dolci bocci bobo I first came to Florence when I was a boy and I was sbalordito astonished Art historians call it the home of the Renaissance But at that time that word meant nothing to me All I knew was that this town was full of treasures It's wonderful it's wonderful Wonderful, good luck my baby, but it's wonderful, it's wonderful, I'd remove you, chips, chips, dati do di do chi bu chi bu bu, dati do di do. It was here in Florence that artists rediscovered the beauty of the human body after centuries of censorship. This is the David of the great Donatello. This insolent boy caused a revolution. He was the first naked statue since Roman times. It was a little risky because for centuries the church had deemed nakedness a thing of shame. But Donatello used the biblical account of David taking off his armor before his fight with Goliath as justification for showing him naked. But Donatello's David, radical as it was, was soon to be eclipsed. In 1504, All Florence was amazed when a giant statue of David was rolled into the square. A town committee had agreed to put it outside Palazzo Vecchio, the town hall, as the symbol of Florence. It must have been a moment of triumph for the artist. A young man in his 20s called Michelangelo. This is a perfect copy molded from the original in the 19th century. The original is in the Museo dell'Accademia. But for me, this is the place to see David defending the town of Florence and not imprisoned in a museum. Here David is truly at home. He towers nobly and protectively over the passing crowds. 
and his face focused, determined, ready to do battle, remains one of the most beguiling portraits in Western art. But there is another thing. The only way we know this is David is because of his weapon. How do you say? A sling. Michelangelo's statue is a celebration of manhood. He is the essence of macho. So much for the boys. What about the girls? For female beauty, I must go behind closed doors. The Uffizi is just about the best art gallery in the world. It is also a harem of beautiful women. This is Botticelli's Venus. This is the most beautiful woman I have ever seen, apart from my wife, of course. Venus is the essence of woman, perfect female beauty. She was painted by Sandro Botticelli for the powerful Medici family in the 1480s. To adorn the walls, of one of their villas. Botticelli shows Venus, the goddess of love, rising from the sea in a shell. We see her captured in that innocent and glorious moment before being dressed and blown to shore. Venus, like all women, is full of contradictions, fragile and rebellious, innocent and sexual at the same time. She's a woman made for pleasure, but she doesn't seem to know it. The Uffizi has always been a favorite destination for British travelers. Florence still has a reputation as the only Italian city with an English accent. I've got a date with my mother-in-law's best friend. We are going to see the sights together. Francesco! Hello. It's great to see you. It's it's great. Great. Oh, I'm going to take you to the Bracaccio Chapel. It's okay. okay. Adam and Eve. Yeah, I'm feeling holiday here. <laughs> How you doing? Why English? They love so much. Yeah. Florence. Not Florence. Tuscany. Well, I what don't do know, they it's, think? it's not just the English. But Everyone. I think it started, well, I suppose it started with the Grand Tour, didn't it? I mean, when people thought, and well, they, all, they all decided that they wanted to see all the, all the art, because everywhere you turn, there's art here. Also, I fancy they like to see all the nudes. <laughs> Maggie, Dame Maggie Smith to you, British, is the Queen of Florence. She's always filming here, a room with a view, tea with Mussolini. She loves it. It was a wonderful time being here. 
you know, and the fact that we could clear all the place and make it look as though it was really that period, it was wonderful. I remember they all went around painting all the graffiti out. Oh, there was... It, it really yeah. looked so ravishing. This is the Cappella Brancacci. We've come to see Masaccio's Adam and Eve. Yeah. Let me have a look and see what it says here. Here the beauty of the nude was first revealed. And here a calm dignity for the first time in... Sophie, can you stop and we try to feel something about the thing? Just look yeah. Sometimes the English read a little too much. Quite right. Yeah. This is out of date anyway. Yeah. No words can express the intensity of emotion in Masaccio's timeless image of human sorrow. This chapel is a window back in time to the streets of Florence in the 15th century. So, well, I've had a lovely time. It was marvellous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really are my friend. One second, I forgot. What? A little present from Venice. Oh, darling, how sweet. Thank you so much. I hope you like it. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful. You know, like those dresses of yeah, Fortuny. Yeah, it's a Fortuny fabric. Look at that. You know, Florence is wonderful, but it is so full of great art and history that it can feel a little too much. There is no room for fun. Well, almost. leg of my journey, I enter the heart of Italy. Power, history and faith. The things that make my country what it is in the eyes of the world. 